You are now listening to the Serious Growth Podcast with your host, Leo Costa Jr. Today's topic, and I, you know, I have a training partner that I'm actually, I get this from, and they mentioned to me every time that we were making progress with our training, our nutrition, it was always, it's all temporary. Results are all temporary. And I'm going to categorize this for two groups of people and it applies to, uh, to all people, I guess you might say. Uh, bodybuilders know that inherently results are temporary. We have parts through our training regimen. Parts of our training is off-season conditioning. And then you have the part that is pre-contest. And here's the thing. If you're that person that thinks that they, that your results, that you want results that are permanent, you might be deceiving yourself. I mean, at, at some point, you'll find that the once you get to a spot where you thought that this is where you want it to be, at some point, you're probably going to change your mind and say that it wasn't really the results that I was looking for. So results have to be temporary. You wouldn't like them if they're permanent anyway. And you know, the, the bodybuilder that goes into the gym, uh, they understand that in order to get the results, at best, if you get results, uh, it's with a real specific planning to get a result. Most people don't do that. The bodybuilder has to. And even with that, in other words, stating the goal, in a bodybuilder's case, it's stating the goal to put on as much muscle as humanly possible while maintaining aesthetics in other words looking good on stage that is the stated goal of a bodybuilder and and then on top of that bodybuilders know that they have to take in a certain amount of protein they have to do a certain amount of cardio there's all these variables that go into getting temporary results can you imagine if you're that average person who walks into a gym thinking that they're going to get a, a result, but they don't have any kind of a plan in place. I mean, most people are going to be uh, disappointed. There's no doubt about it. But I will tell you this, failing is part of the process. You have to fail in order to get the results that you want. So for those people that are out there, I mean, you have to, at some point, you got to walk through that process. You can't get around it. You can come to a someone who is a a expert in the fields and you're still going to you're still going to fail because you know even though our physiologies are uh, they're the same they're also very different from one another not everybody is going to respond in the same way that's the reason why if I put you on a program that Arnold Schwarzenegger used do you really think that you're going to look like him just because you're doing the, the his training you're not so that is the only reason why I bring that up is because it's a really it's a it's a that's kind of what separates people from from uh, reaching their goals to not. I mean, it would be nice if you just walked into a gym and you have this plan that you could follow and, you know, in six weeks that you'd be there. But most people will fail. And I think it's not is the look failure is not a bad thing. It's a hard, hard thing to really um to understand and to really um use for your benefit because we're taught that failing is such a bad thing failure in this case what we're talking about is just a tool that you use to evaluate where you're currently at and if you can if you can wrap your head around that that will help you to stay in the game and you will find because i've seen i've talked to people who have started a program a challenge whatever you call it trying to get into a certain shape and they don't make it some people it, it destroys them it they feel like they they've totally failed uh and you know all of a sudden they're like uh, they don't want to do this again because failing is difficult you know these baseball players that are hitting 300 i mean 300 which is a percentage in any other arena that's failing but you know that in a baseball world that's uh, succeeding 
So they've just figured out a way how to deal with the failure. You need to embrace the failure and then uh, and make it work for you, not against you. Uh, the other thing that you must understand when it comes to getting results, again, we're talking about results being something very temporary, even at best, is that you have to realize that your body is fantastic as it is. Your body, in this case, I'm talking about your physiology. As fantastic as it is, your body cannot do two things at once efficiently. It does it because it's so fantastic. It's always adapting to its environment. It's trying to adapt to whatever you're trying to teach it. But if you're trying to teach it too many things at one time, it's not going to do it efficiently. So what does that mean? That means that you will more than likely be severely disappointed because you are putting all this effort in. And when I say more than one thing, let's just say it this way. If you come to me and tell me that you're wanting to put on muscle and you're wanting to burn body fat at the same time, those are two good goals to have. But you can't do them at the same time and be efficient. What is more important to you? You have to state your goal. What is it exactly that you're trying to accomplish? That's where people get hung up because there all these things are important to them. So you have to state your goal. And maybe it's not putting on muscle. Maybe it's just getting in better shape or losing body fat. But if you're that person that wants to lose, uh, needs to lose more body fat than you actually getting in, you know, better shape tone wise, then the emphasis needs to be on losing body fat. It's a process. It's a long process. You know, in the bodybuilding world, we talk about how this is a, this is a, um, a marathon, not a sprint. And then you wonder why most people, uh, most people fail because they can't deal with that. Let's take a quick pause to tell you about something you are definitely going to want. Do you want a bone crushing grip? Good, because you're going to get one with the amazing new TRS Gripper. It's a progressive grip builder with longer handles and a special ergonomic design that's like a dozen hand grippers in one. Start off easy and work your way up to quickly build your grip strength from wet noodle to pulverizing. The package includes a video from the world famous strength coach, Dr. Russ Horine, the man who worked with Leo Costa to help bring you Big Beyond Belief in the Bulgarian Power Burst. Dr. Horine shows you a simple and easy to follow workout plan that takes just minutes a day right from in front of your TV set if you want. So click on the link below and let's get started building you a stronger, firmer, bone crushing grip. Uh, this ongoing process of uh, getting results. Okay, I, I remember as a bodybuilder when I was in my off season, you know, and the, okay, my off season was usually coming off a competition, ripped to shreds, it looked fantastic. Do you know how hard that was to come off looking like that? And yet, realistically, and I, I see this, you know, a lot with on these Instagram or these social media uh, platforms, they stay ripped year round. It looks like, you know. And they never change. I mean, maybe that's okay for them. But I'm, I'm talking about that person. If you want to keep making a better version of yourself, you have to understand you have to deal with change. Change is very difficult uh, to do for all of us. You're going against the grain constantly. You know, I mean, even when you're in the gym trying to put on muscle, that is exactly the opposite of what your body wants to do. You're always going against the grain. So, you know, now that you're in rip shape, I remember this being rip shape. In fact, that's when we do all of our, our photo shoots would be right after the competition. And we try to hold that condition for as long as we could. At best, we could hold it for about a month to six weeks. You can't deal with that emotionally. At some point, you can't deal with it. Your body can't take that. It's nice to be in that kind of condition. But I guess, the, the you know, it's a mind fuck. It's always uh, mentally you have to fight what your body is either telling you to do or telling you what it doesn't want to do because who in the hell wants to go into a gym and beat themselves up day in and day out okay so you have to figure out a way this is where you have to de develop the uh, ironclad mindset to be able to deal with that you have to put this in a way uh where you're okay with creating a new version i mean let's just think about it this way 
you should be glad that the results are only temporary. In other words, what I mean, don't be uh, upset about that. Be glad about that because that gives you an opportunity to reinvent yourself each and every time. And I think that if you're really creating a lifestyle for yourself, because that's what we should be doing at the end of the day. Look, even me, an old bodybuilder now, ex bodybuilder, I'm still in this game reinventing myself at this age. The goals are different. When I was uh, in competition, I didn't, you know, it, the sport is not healthy. And the way a lot of people go about, even if they're not doing bodybuilding, the way some people go about trying to get in shape for fitness is very unhealthy because they do things in extreme. They starve themselves. They do things that are unhealthy. Look, if it gets you to a temporary spot, fine. But you have to understand that you can't continue to do that because I'm one one person that knows that because my body gave me a wake up call. That sport is very extreme, but people also, even when they're not in the sport, are very extreme. I've seen it, they, you know, and they're very unhealthy. And how long can you maintain that unhealthiness before, at some point, your body shuts down, adrenal burnout, uh, depression. And then you get to a point where you've been dieting for so long or, or starving for so long that the body shuts down. I mean, at some point, you have to make the change. I guess that's what the point is. And somebody like myself who competed in a sport that um, demands unwavering discipline to the point where it's dangerous because you override what your body is telling you. You have to listen to what your body is telling you because it's communicating with you all the time. Most people that are in it, you know, they're not very um, advanced or, or have a lot of experience, don't really pay attention or don't really understand how your body is communicating to you. And the thing about it is, even when you get to a high level bodybuilder, we know and we and still we override those alerts that your, your body is communicating to you like you can't do this anymore. I'm giving you a little warning shot here. Maybe the warning shot is a pulled muscle and you're thinking, ah, you override it. We know because it's, as a bodybuilder, we did that. So I guess my point here is that we have to continue in order to make this really something that's really good and healthy for you. You just got to keep changing along the way what your goals are. Reinvent yourself, re, um, uh, revamp everything that you're doing and learn how to be uncomfortable in that uh, or learn how to be comfortable in that uncomfortable transition. Because what you'll find out is how amazing that your body is. I have found that out firsthand. I think that the best information is the information that you learn through your experience. You know, I, I like be, uh, with old sayings because I'm old now. I'm older, and these old sayings ring true. And you have to be uh, willing to be uncomfortable or comfortable in those uncomfortable changes in your life and realize that you're going to fail but if you just stick with that at some point you'll come out on the other end and then it becomes healthy i after my bodybuilding career was over i the stated goal at that point because my body was pretty beat up like a lot of uh, bodybuilders a lot of people who are extreme i'm just trying to make that correlation it just doesn't have to be in the sport of bodybuilding was i i changed what my stated goal was my stated goal now was to be uh, to pay my body back in a good way for what I put it through as an athlete. The stated goal was to get as healthy as possible. So here's what I can tell you, that the body has an amazing ability to repair itself, but you've got to be a part of that process. You've got to give your body a break and not beat it up all the time. you got to give yourself a break when you fail at what you were trying to do, is don't beat yourself up so bad that you can't continue to move forward. Look back, let that failure teach you something to make you hugely successful. Your body will pay you back in spades if you'll just take that approach. At the end of the day, and I can, I'm 66 years of age, I'm closer to 70 than I am 60 now, that's a mind blower. And I, what I stated nine years ago, because I had health issues, to get myself as healthy as possible, my body paid me back. If I go, I can show you a lab test that will prove to you that I have the blood workup now 
and this is my doctor telling me of somebody in their 20s and i can assure you that this that didn't happen it just didn't happen go out there reinvent yourself state the goal use failure as something positive thanks for listening to the show all right let's take a quick break so i can tell you about our product do you want a bone crushing grip good because you're gonna get one with the amazing new trs gripper it's a progressive grip builder with longer handles and a special ergonomic design that's like a dozen hand grippers in one start off easy and work your way up to quickly build your grip strength from wet noodle to pulverizing the package includes a video from the world famous strength coach dr russ horine the man who worked with Leo Costa to help bring you Big Beyond Belief in the Bulgarian Power Burst. Dr. Horine shows you a simple and easy to follow workout plan that takes just minutes a day right from in front of your TV set if you want. So click on the link below and let's get started building you a stronger, firmer, bone crushing grip. Thanks for listening to the Serious Growth Podcast. For more episodes like the one you just listened to, subscribe to us on your mobile podcast app and leave us a review. If you'd like to reach out, you can find us online at SeriousGrowth.com. Until next time, train smart and train hard.